Mizuma TV back in the building, man. What's going on, y'all? Shout out to Mizuma Nation. Shout out to the Mizuma Mob. We in the building as always, man. I hope everybody's having a blessed, beautiful, positive, productive day. Back at y'all with my second video of the day, man. On the road to 2K. We about to hit that 1900 mark in due time. So shout out to the nation and the mob for making this possible. All right, y'all. Let's talk about what Eddie Hearn has been saying lately since signing one of the most promising fighters in the entire sport of boxing, in my opinion, and that's Jerron Boos Ennis. And ever since then, he's just been speaking about how excited he is for signing Jerron Ennis and what his future plans are for him and stuff like that. And, you know, speaking, I mean, if I was in Eddie Hearn's shoes, I'd be extremely excited as well. And one of the main things that Eddie Hearn has spoken about was, you know, really pushing for the fight between Jerron Ennis, who is the current IBF welterweight champion of the world, and Terrence Crawford, who is the current unified champion in the... Uh, welterweight division man you know what i mean both of these guys you know they've been a little inactive you know what i mean terrence Crawford coming off of the biggest win of his career and jerron ennis coming off of one of the uh, best performances in, in his career if not the best one you know what i mean against romaine vila so you know he just signed jerron ennis he's looking to keep him active and just build his profile in the boxing world and he told you from the rip that his intentions is to make him the pound for pound number one fighter in the world you know what i mean so what better way than doing that than, you know, pursuing a fight with the current pound-for-pound pound number one fighter in the world. That's Terrence Crawford. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know exactly what's going on with Terrence Crawford. I know for a fact he doesn't have anything solidified yet. There's been a lot of rumors in terms of who he may face next, whether it's uh, Israel Madrimov, who is the current WBA 154-pound champion. Um, and, you know, you know, possibly having Turkey Alashik make his U.S. debut with Terrence Crawford headlining and stuff like that. Those are the only rumors that I heard as of lately. And I heard a member of Terrence Crawford's team, uh, Bernie the Boxer or whatever, uh, speak about how, you know, if there's money, if the bag is right, that uh, Terrence Crawford will fight Jerron Ennis, blah, blah, blah. I don't really hold Bernie uh, the Boxer's word, you know, too highly when it comes to Terrence Crawford and shit like that. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you know, he probably is around them at the gym. They're probably good friends, but he's not responsible for the business. Uh, the business aspect of Bud's career. So, you know, I'm not going to hear, I'm not going to really listen too much to what he says. And, you know, he had a lot of hate um, towards Jerron Ennis in all honesty, man. You know, I understand Bud is his man and stuff like that. So he going to ride with Bud regardless. And he should, you know what I mean? He definitely should. But, you know, it was a lot of degrading of Jerron Ennis that I really wasn't fucking with because, you know, you can still uplift your dog. You can still back your homie, but then still give respect to uh, his possible rivals or his opponents at the same time. You know what I mean? It's just a way to go about things respectfully. And I just feel like Bernie the Boxer, he has a lot of ignorant tendencies in all honesty. You know what I mean? So I don't really listen too much to what he says, but you know, that one part he made, uh, that he said about, you know, the bag being right and him possibly fighting Jerron Ennis if the bag is right, that might be true. You know what I mean? Terrence Crawford has a lot of heart. You know, I really think that he's one of the fighters that really stands out in this era because, you know, he's legacy driven. You know what I mean? So I love the idea that Eddie Hearn is really pushing for this fight with Jerron Ennis and Terrence Crawford. And um, I heard Jerron Ennis say something about, um, you know, Terrence Crawford don't really got nowhere else to go. You know what I'm saying? In terms of like having like big fights and, you know, he feels like he's the one that uh, stands out amongst all of his other possible potential opponents. You know what I'm saying? And in all honesty, if we thinking about things objectively, I, I think that what Jerron Ennis said was absolutely correct. You know, what's a bigger fight, Jerron Ennis? for a three-time undisputed um, for Terrence Crawford or Israel Madrimov, who a lot of people don't really know too much about yet. You see what I mean? So, Jerron Ennis is clearly the bigger fight amongst boxing fans, you know what I mean? And in all honesty, if he's able to accomplish three-time undisputed, then you know that's just going to continue to add on to his legacy. And if he beats a guy as talented as Jerron Ennis, then, you know, he's just going to continue making his claim for one of the greatest to ever lace up a pair of gloves, in my opinion. You see what I mean? So um, look at everybody else. Earl Spence, he doesn't look like he wants the Terrence Crawford fight next. He's looking for the Tim Zhu. I mean, he's looking for the Sebastian Fundora fight. You know what I mean? Um, Canelo Alvarez said he not fighting him. Uh, it, 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 it's only so many places that Terrence Crawford could go. You know what I mean? Um, but it just looks like he's really channeling in on the 154 pound division. I see that Bud is in the gym, so he must got the word that something is on the horizon. And I hope that Jerron Ennis, you know, if that fight isn't next, that is sometime this year. 
You know what I mean? So I love where Eddie Hearn's mindset is at, you know what I mean, in terms of what his intentions are with Jerron Ennis. And, you know, and it's not the fight low-quality opponents. He understands that he has a diamond in the rough, and he wants to, you know, bring him to the spotlight um, as quick as he can. And what better way to do it than go up against one of the greatest of this era, and that's Terrence Crawford. Um, you could tell that Eddie Hearn has a lot of belief in Jerron Ennis because he seemed optimistic about that fight happening. And if he didn't really believe in Jerron Ennis, I don't think that he would have encouraged the Terrence Crawford fight so much. You know what I mean? So, you know, Jerron Ennis has some possible opponents that may be realistic at this point in time, whether it's Cody Crawley, Connor Ben, and things of that nature. So most likely he'll fight either one of those two next. Um, and then let, let's see if we could really, really push for a Terrence Crawford fight because that's one of the biggest fights to be made in boxing. You know, besides Canelo Benavidez, Better Be, Bivol, I think Jerron Ennis and Terrence Crawford is one, it could be a fight that could really blow up and do some great numbers. You see what I mean? So y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Eddie Hearn uh, making his intentions clear with making uh, a, a great fight between Jerron Ennis and Terrence Crawford. What do you think about the possibility of that fight happening? Who do you have winning? Y'all let me know in the comments below. This is Mizuma TV. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm out of here, man. Peace.